The rest of the news Thursday, the 5th of July. Hi, this is Dan Earhart. Overnight, Earth reached the point of our greatest distance from the sun for the entire year. It's called aphelion, and it's caused by Earth's elliptical orbit. Aphelion varies between July 2nd and July 5th each year. In San Diego last night, all the fireworks for the municipal show went off pretty much in one big bang. It's being called a technical difficulty. And it's like if you took a 30-minute fireworks show and collapsed it, time-lapsed it to about 30 seconds, it is fun to watch. The MSN video posted on the rest of the news Facebook page. Also, there is a fabulous best of 4th of July wrap-up from, where else? Our British tabloid, Mail Online. Check it out. Pictures from New York. That show featured Katy Perry. Washington, D.C., the Obamas were there. Philadelphia had a big show with Queen Latifah. And the picture of the downtown Houston show with the beautiful skyline and full moon is spectacular. The Romneys were in New Hampshire. And Gawker jokes that Mitt ate a flag. NASA is involved with Boeing and Gulfstream to produce the supersonic jet successor to the Concorde. They're showing off the prototype this month at an air show in England, promising 2,500 miles an hour. That's twice the speed of the Concorde, and it's only four short hours from London to Sydney. Today's Business Insider features a chart called Staggering, a chart which rates 20 drugs by the harm each causes both to users and to others. It's also posted on the page. At the low end is mushrooms and LSD. Marijuana, not bad, still in the low end. Even cocaine is fairly low. Let's jump to the top three, shall we? Crack, heroin, and at number one, alcohol. Ambien was found in the blood of former Secretary of Commerce John Bryson. You remember him. Last month he had a couple of hit and runs in LA, including one in which he crashed into the same car twice. No charges will be filed as the amount of Ambien in his system was at the low end of therapeutic levels. People like yesterday's 4th of July quote from Thomas Jefferson about corporations. So here's one from Theodore Roosevelt via Facebook for today, the 5th of July. All Contributions by corporations to any political committee for any political purpose should be forbidden by law. Theodore Roosevelt. Herman Cain unveiled his new venture yesterday on the 4th of July. Cain TV. Kind of like Glenn Beck TV, only it's Cain TV. He opened with, hello, I'm Herman Cain. They think we are stupid. Hey, don't feel bad, Herman. Stephen Hawking just lost a $100 bet. Stephen Hawking. He bet they wouldn't find that little Higgs boson subatomic particle. Now, how do you suppose Stephen Hawking feels? Thanks for listening to the rest of the news. See you tomorrow. This is Dan Earhart.